In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can run an internet bandwidth speed test from within HiveOS. Sometimes you'll come across an instance where you want to run a real-time speed test of your internet bandwidth within a HiveOS rig. Uh, this could be, you know, you're providing decentralized storage with like storage or SC Prime, or maybe you're running a flux node within HiveOS and you just want to run a bandwidth test and you want to benchmark it and just kind of see if you would meet any guidelines for a given network. So in this video, I'm going to basically provide you with a easy script you can run from within HiveOS. It'll run a bandwidth test on your rig and show you your download and upload speed in real time. So I'm actually going to run this on three different machines. The way my setup is, is I have, I'm in an apartment with a garage. So I have a, my router, it's kind of in my living room. I've got a um, flux node there and I've got a small mining rig connected directly to the router. And then I have two wireless repeaters that are acting as bridges. One is in the garage powering some servers, and then another is in one of my closets powering some servers. And so I'm just kind of going to show you what those bandwidth speeds look like directly on the router versus those wireless frequencies. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with this rig, and this is actually the one that is plugged directly into the router. And all that you need to do uh, in order to do this is you're just gonna come into your rig you're gonna get a run command and you're gonna paste in the command that I include in the video description below what this is gonna do this is going to go out to Ookla who is kind of the parent company that runs speedtest.net and it's gonna download their command line script and it's going to basically run the installer and then it's going to run their speed test. So we're just going to go ahead and hit run. And the first time you run this, it may take several minutes to execute, but subsequent runs should be fairly quick. And so we're just going to let it run here. Essentially what this is going to do is it's going to find the closest server to you, and then it's going to attempt to download a large file and upload a large file and it should give you your speeds. Okay, it's done, so all you gotta do is just click on the script and scroll to the bottom. And what you're gonna see here is you're going to see your ISP. It's gonna tell you what server it connected to. And it's gonna give you your latency, which mine is eight milliseconds, right? Uh, the idle latency. And then here's my download speed. So I have just under 310 megabits per second, real time. My upload was 325 megabits per second real time with no packet loss. And it will give you this URL. You can actually copy and paste this. And it'll take you to the website that can get, provide you more details as well. We're just going to... Uh, we'll actually just leave that one open for a minute. I'm going to go open a new tab. And we're going to hop over to a rig that is in the garage, which... I'm actually going to use storage 2. This was the storage node that I had built in a previous video. And so we're going to do the same thing on this one. And this is you, this is connected to a TP-Link wireless repeater. And it's uh, Ethernet off of the repeater, but it is a wireless-to-wireless -wireless bridge running um, 5 gigahertz frequency. So we're just going to go to command. Hit run. We're going to go ahead and run this. It's done. Let's go ahead and click on it and scroll to the bottom. And here we can see, okay, on this one, we've got 223 megabits per second down and 262 megabits per second up. The idle latency being around the same there. And so if we compare that over to what we had here, we had 310 down and 325 up. So you know, it's a pretty good drop-off, but it's actually not too bad. 
uh, considering that is a pure wireless signal that's happening there. And next up, we're going to run a server that is in my closet. Now, the connection that's on this one is actually a lower speed. It's a uh, low end TP link wireless repeater. It's connected over the 5.4 gigahertz frequency, but what we're gonna see is that it is substantially slower and that is being bottlenecked by the hardware itself, the frequency that it supports. So let's go ahead and see. If I had just got another copy of what I have in the garage, I'm sure it would be much better. But let's go ahead and see what this one comes back as. And on this one, we are looking at, you can see, substantially slower. Right, so we're looking at 87 megabits per second down. 92 and a half up. Our latency is a little bit slightly higher at idle, significantly higher um, on the down and up. And if we compare that to direct on the router, right, we had 310, 310 down, 325 up. So we're essentially looking at, you know, a third, less than a third of the transfer speed just on that repeater. So I'll definitely be upgrading that probably to either the same one I have in the garage or even a better one. And we'll be able to get higher bandwidth speed off of what's in the closet. Uh, I may, I'm considering taking one of the one U servers I have in the closet and actually running eight, eventually running eight flux nodes on it. So we will see if I end up going that route. I'll probably definitely upgrade this uh, while it will meet the necessary speeds. It would be nicer to have that um, closer to, you know, 220 to 250 megabits per second on the speed. And that's it for this video. Just kind of wanted to show you guys how you run that speed test. And one thing I will mention is once you run it the first time, it's going to install a package. You can always run the same script again, but you don't have to run the whole script. You can actually just run the last portion, which is speed test dash dash accept license. If you just run this, it'll run a little bit quicker and it will just execute the command. It's just the first time you run it, it needs to install it. So if we just let that run, that should kick back here any minute now. And if we give that a refresh there, we can see it ran it and uh, we can see we're, we're all good on the speeds. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.